so for my next um, little video reciting poetry, I wanted to, I thought I might pick a very interesting um, poem in an interesting tongue. Um, the poem I'm going to recite is actually a French poem, and it's the first French poem I've tried to learn off by heart. I came across this poem a couple of years back um, when I was in France. I was visiting a friend of mine who I'd met out in France, um, a sort of maverick, and he lives with his lovely wife in the um, in the Pyrenees, and we were talking about learning French and he said one of the most uh, useful things to do when learning a language is to actually um, learn songs or learn poems because they have uh, they can have useful aspects of the language so for example in this poem there's a lot of use of future tense so often you have a verb and as an example in this poem there's the verb partir and the future tense of that um, for the uh, first person singular is je partirai, I will leave. Or there's regarder, which means to watch um, or to look. Um, and the future tense is regarderai and things like that. So he said this is it's a really good poem. Um, and it's also a very powerful poem. It's a very famous French poem by a very famous French author and poet, Victor Hugo. And so this this poem by um, this famous French author, Victor Hugo, it was written in his famous work, um, or a part of his famous work, uh, um, Les Confessions, or, no, sorry, Les Contemplations, um, or Contemplations in English. And the poem is about him going to visit his daughter's grave and because his daughter, at the age of 19, having just got married and pregnant, with her husband they went on a boat on the Seine, uh, just outside Paris, or in Paris, I can't remember, and the boat capsized, and of course, um, Victor Hugo's daughter, who was called Leopoldine, um, or Leopoldine, making sure you pronounce the N at the end, um, she was obviously wearing a, a big dress, as, as was the fashion in the 19th century, mid, mid to early 19th century. And she fell into the water, and the weight of her dress was dragging her down into the, into the Seine. And her husband jumped in after her, and they both lost their lives, and of course their unborn child. So it's a very moving um, poem. Uh, because it's about a father's grief, really. Um, but also his interaction, there's, there's a sort of knowledge in the poem that she's still there, or she's waiting for him. Um, you will hear the word uh, attendre. Uh, je sais que tu m'attendes. Which means I, I, I know uh, that you are waiting. Um, so it's very sad. And apparently Victor Hugo, I read, didn't write any serious work for several years after this tragic incident. But it's a lovely poem, and I did know a lot of it. There's only three stanzas, um, 12 lines. And I learned a bit of it a couple of years ago, but never fully learned it. Um, and so, yeah. Um, and now the time has passed where I know the future tense now, so it's all good. Um, but I suppose I'll recite it in French first, and then I'll, I'll use the Wikipedia translation just so that you know afterwards what I was talking about. So here goes. Or oh, quickly to add, and this has been um, a slid in as a, a post note, but brought into the front of the video. The poem was also uh, recited often at um, dinner parties in France um, with the lady I stayed um, with a lot, Laurie de Zenkamil, and she very much loves this poem. And um, 
she I think she knows it off by heart. Um I think she yeah, she does. She she would recite it off by heart. Of course she's French, so there's a certain um beauty in the natural voice. I hope in the future my French accent will be um it will never be fr um French, franglicized, but um, I hope to achieve a, a, a beautiful Franglish accent, which is enjoyed by French people as much as I enjoy speaking French. So, next part, which I cut in. Demain, dès l'aube, à l'heure où blanchit la campagne, je partirai, vois-tu, je sais que tu m'attends. J'irai par la forêt, j'irai par la montagne. Je ne puis demeurer loin de toi plus longtemps. Je marcherai les yeux fixés sur mon pensée. Sans rien voir au dehors, sans attendre aucun bruit, seul, en grandu, le dos courbé, les mains crassées. Triste, et le jour pour moi sera comme la nuit. Je ne regarderai ni l'eau de soie qui tombe, ni les voiles au long descendant à fleurs. J'arriverai, je mettrai sur ta tombe un bouquet de hauteur et de bruyère en fleurs. So, what does the poem mean in English? I will translate. Demande de l'aube, à l'heure où blanchit la campagne. So, tomorrow at dawn. At the hour um, where uh, um, the countryside is, is blanketed with dew. dew. Um, Je partirai, vois-tu, je sais que tu m'attends. I will leave. You see, I know that you are waiting for me. J'irai par la forêt, j'irai par la montagne. Um, I will go by the forest, I will go by the mountain. Je ne puis demeurer loin de toi plus longtemps. I cannot remain or or stay far from you for much longer. And then the next stanza. Je marcherai les yeux fixés sur mon pensée. I will walk with my eyes fixed on my thoughts. Sans rien voir au dehors. Without seeing anything outside, outside of one's vision. So you imagine as he's walking, he can't see outside his vision. He's in his mind, thinking about his daughter. Sans attendre aucun bruit, without hearing any noise. Um, and then, next two lines. Seul, inconnu, le dos crobé, les mains crassées. Um, alone, unknown. The back bent, or with back, with back, back bent, and hands crossed, basically. And it goes on, triste. And one of my favorite lines of the poem. Et le jour pour moi sera grand la, la nuit. Which is triste, sad, or sorrowful, or sorrowed, as the wiki um, uh, English version says and I kind of don't it kind of jars a bit in the English version for me and my favorite line part si le, si le jour pour moi serait comme la nuit and the day for me will be like the night very powerful line very sad and the final stanza je ne, je ne regarderai ni l'eau du soir qui tombe Ni les voiles au loin descendant vers à fleurs. So two lines there. I will not see 
the gold of evening fall, nor the sails, the far sails um, converging or coming to Affleur, a place in France, towards the mouth of the, uh, the Seine, I think. And the last two lines. J'arriverai, je mettrai sur ta tombe. I will arrive, or I will come. I will put on your tomb. And the last, last line. Un bouquet de over et de bruyère en fleur, which is, uh, I think, some green, a bouquet of green holly and heather in flower, or, you know, sort of grass flowers that you find in meadows or meadow flowers. And so that's the poem. He, he goes to visit his daughter's grave and he puts flowers on it. And he always remembers her. And he knows that she is still remembering and thinking of him. It's a very sad and beautiful poem, but it's very lovely to know. And that, you know, I, God, God knows what sort of feeling it would be to lose a, uh, a child, and especially in such a tragic way. So poetry has a, um, poetry can be gay, poetry can be sad, poetry can be funny. Um, but it's always beautiful to see the way people express themselves and to now read poetry in French and to understand it. It's a great joy of mine and I am, I'm overjoyed that I know this poem. <laughs> the sun's going down. I think maybe I will repeat the poem one last time since now explained it in English. It might be nice to now hear it once again. And the sun is going down, so not quite dawn. Demon de l'aube, à l'heure où blanchit la campagne, je paterai. Vois-tu, je sais que tu me tentes. J'irai par la forêt, j'irai par la montagne. Je ne puis demeurer loin de toi plus longtemps. Je marcherai, les yeux fixés sur ma pensée. Sans rien voir au dehors, sans attendre aucun bruit, seul, inconnu, le dos grobé, les mains crassées. Triste, et le jour pour moi sera comme la, la nuit. Je ne regarderai ni l'eau de soi qui tombe, ni les voiles au loin descendant vers la flore. J'arriverai, je mettrai sur ta tombe un bouquet de hauts verts et de bruyères en fleurs. Love it. It's, it's lovely. And I will shall recite it in the morning if I get up at dawn, which happens every now and then, but not often. Um, Turner used to paint dawns. He didn't... When you see a Turner painting um, and you see a sun and a river or some boats, often people go, oh, it's a beautiful sunset. And you can be forgiven for thinking that because I, I myself used to think that. But no, Turner used to paint dawns. It's a beautiful light at dawn. It's um, very different from sunset. Uh, the colours are fresher, more gold, golden, less, not red at all. And there's a sort of hope in the morning. Anyway, that's my... Uh, that's my compilation um, oh yeah someone said to me I got to say at the end of my videos like and subscribe and 
maybe i suppose this is what youtubers do um if you have a lovely poem which you think i should read or you know learn um maybe comment i suppose um and i'll read it i'll certainly read it i only have um, a couple dozen subscribers so nothing bad there alors till next time